what it do it's your boy keegan back yet again with another video and today for this video guys we got nba draft predictions for k cunningham jalen suggs and evan mobley so without further ado let's get right into the video if you guys enjoy it make sure you like comment subscribe and let's get to it all right guys so i'd like to first start off this video by apologizing for this video coming in a little bit late I've been very busy and bagged up with my other school activities and work. So I apologize for this video coming out a little bit later than usual. But as always, I'm still trying to give you guys the best content I can give you guys while making these YouTube videos. So let's get into it. Uh, so the first player we got for you guys is Kay Cunningham, uh, 6'8", guard or sport wherever you want to call him i call him a guard because he handles the ball he's from oklahoma state if you guys see me glancing over this way it's just me looking at my computer while i'm looking at some of his information about these guys so obviously i see him being the consensus first round number one pick uh k cunningham he has good size at six eight um he's young so he's got the room to improve and I've heard on ESPN, but I also believe it's a possibility myself. Will he get there? We'll have to see, but he he does have the ability to be able to reach up to be like Luka Doncic's level with his ability to handle the basketball, to shoot as what we saw at Oklahoma. He's very versatile. He can play pretty good defense as well. So that's something Luka wasn't have a strong suit in. So if K can step up his defense and show that he can at least be a three and D type of player while he can also handle the ball, he could definitely make a difference. And he's projected to go to the Pistons, which I agree with. So K Cunningham, I can see in his future um, multiple all-star appearances and also being able to possibly win an NBA championship. I don't know. We'll have to see how that goes in the future, if he leaves the Pistons or not. But as of right now, I definitely see him being the number one pick, making an instant impact on the team. And most likely your rookie of the year, K Cunningham. Which moves me to my next player, which will be Jalen Suggs, who is projected as well by many sources to go number two overall in this upcoming draft. Uh, Jalen Suggs, he's a 6'5 shooting guard, so he's shorter than K.E. Cunningham, but he's a 6'5 shooting guard, also 19 years old, and he played for the G League and Ignite team. So Jalen Suggs took a little bit of a, oh my goodness, excuse me, guys. If I've been saying Jalen Suggs this whole time, I meant to say Jalen Green. So I, I apologize a million times for saying that. I don't I don't want to go back and, and recut it because I've already I've already been a little late on this video. So anytime I said Jalen Suggs, I meant Jalen Green. Jalen Green, I apologize. So Jalen Green is the G League Ignite player, the 6'5 freshman. Um so he's projected to go number two to the Houston Rockets. Jalen Green, uh, he's got decent size for a shooting guard, which 6'5 is pretty good. He showed that he was able to average a good amount of points over there in the G League against grown men talent, while it also being able to work with his teammates. And I believe he played with a guy named Jonathan Kaminga, who's also pretty high up in this draft. So Jalen Green, he showed me as someone that could be uh, a good three, maybe a three and D player. His defense, would I wouldn't say is as good as Kay Cunningham's, but he could push himself to be that way. Uh, he gives me, with his body type, it's all, his arms are all scrawny. I'm just looking at like maybe a Jamal Crawford type, but I mean, his ceiling is definitely up there, but I mean, Jamal Crawford is still a good player. So, I mean, Jalen Green, if he can come in there with the Houston Rockets, who are definitely one of the lower teams now, he can come in there and he just make an impact play hard, hustle, he could very much so maybe give K. Cunningham a run for his money because at one point he was considered a top player on the ESPN Top 100 coming in. So, I mean, we'll have to see what Jalen Green does, but I feel like he would be a great impact. And that moves us to our last player that I'm going to only talk about the top three for this upcoming draft, and that'll be Evan Mobley, who is a seven-footer out of USC. So Evan Mobley is like, what some would call a unicorn. He's a big seven foot player that can shoot the three, play defense and guard all the way out on the perimeter. So, I mean, what team really doesn't want that? Uh, I feel like he's not, the only reason he's not the number one pick is because his game isn't as polished as the other two above him. But Evan Mobley does have a, a possibility to be able to take over. And I mean, 
considering where he's going at Cleveland, it might be tough for him to be rookie of the year. But at the same time, he'll be able to make an instant impact if he plays right and be able to do right for his team. So Evan Mobley, number three with the Cavaliers, he should be able to make an instant impact at center. And I just feel like the main thing that Cleveland needs to do if they end up taking him number three is they need to try to get rid of some of these other big men because they have, if I'm looking at correctly right here, still on the team, Kevin Love, Jared Allen, who's definitely going to stay, and Larry Nance, at least. Those are the three that I'm seeing right here. So that'll be a lot of competition for Evan Mobley. So we'll see how he adjusts. And that's pretty much it, guys. So those are my three top picks. Once again, we've got number one, K. Cunningham, the 6'8". Uh, guard out of Oklahoma State. Number two, Jalen Green, the shooting guard for the uh, G League Ignite team, and Evan Mobley, the center out of USC. So let me guys, let me know in the comments what you guys think. Who are you thinking might go in the top three? You agree with me and pretty much almost everybody who's been making these draft boards. Uh, let me know what you think the rest of your lottery is. The lottery is like the first 15 picks in the draft. So let me know what you guys are thinking it's going to look like there. Who do you think is going to get a steal in the draft? I mean, just hit me up. Let's have a conversation in the comments about it. So um, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you leave me a like, comment, subscribe. Uh, let me know if you like these kind of videos. I want to do more about the NBA. I'm going to hopefully be able to get better with the graphics and starting putting like pictures and stuff up and showing stats on my screen. So let me know if you guys like this video. I'll try to make some more of these if you guys enjoy it. Uh, once again, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, and as always, it's been your boy Keegan, and I'm out.